guys, welcome back. Today I thought that I would talk to you about grocery shopping. Whether you love to grocery shop or you hate it, it's something we all need to do. So I just wanna sit down and talk to you about a few tips that really help me out when grocery shopping. And maybe they'll help you So the you first out thing, also. and this is before we even step foot into the grocery store, before I go to the grocery store, I like to clean out my fridge, my freezer, and my food cabinet. This not only ensures that all of those tasks will be done at least once a week so that way I know my fridge and freezer and food cabinet are getting cleaned on a regular basis. It also allows me to see what I have on hand, what I need to get, so that way I'm not buying duplicates and I'm not forgetting things that I actually need. I just take a piece of paper and just jot down the things that I need to restock on. Um, the next thing for grocery shopping is making a list. It helps me so much when I have a list and I'm prepared. When I go to the store without a list, I sort of feel like I'm walking around aimlessly. I do meal plan and I do have specific items that I need to get, so it doesn't take much time for me to write out my list. This might sound a little bit weird to you, but I actually even write down the items that I need to get in order in the order which they are in the store. So for example, when we first go into our store, I know our deli is right there. So I'll write down the items that I need to get at the deli first. Then is our produce section. So again, I'll just write down the items that I need in the produce section and so on and so forth. This really helps me get in and out of the store on as quickly as possible. It is so frustrating when I am at one end of the store and realize that I forgot something on the other end of the store. So this really helps avoid that problem. Another tip that I have, if you have small children and you don't necessarily want to take them to the store with you, try gro grocery shopping at night. I have probably over the past, I started doing it maybe six months ago, grocery shopping at night. So after they're in bed is when I go to the grocery store. First of all, the grocery stores are like dead at that time. So I can really get in and out. There's nobody like standing in the way in the aisles. Um, and I don't have to bring my kids. I've honestly spend so much less when I don't have my kids with me because I can really concentrate. They're not just throwing random things into the car and all of that. Um, a few tips if you do have to bring your kids, and I know that kids are kids. I mean, there's gonna, they're going to have their good days and bad days. And there's not a ton that you can do to avoid that. However, I try to pack snacks for my kids when they are going to the grocery store because there's nothing more frustrating than having a hungry child staring at all this food and getting cranky and wanting to eat things before you can pay for them. So I always try to pack a little snack for my kids when we grocery shopping. I also try to get them involved in the whole process. Try to get them involved in even cleaning out your fridge and food cabinet so that way they can see why we're going. Um, I also try to create little lists for them. So I have a seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. My seven and four-year-old, I know if we're in the produce section, I can see them. I might give them a few items to get on their own. Um, and then my two-year-old, same thing. She usually sits in the cart and I'll just have like a few things written down and she'll have her crayon and she can kind of cross things off as we go along. Just trying to keep them occupied during grocery shopping is key for me. Um, another thing that I do for my kids is we sort of time ourselves. So before we go into the grocery store, we see what time it is. And then we say, all right, let's try to be out of the store by this time. So it sort of is like a race for them. They are concentrating because they want to get back to the car and beat our time. So I find those tips are really helpful when shopping with kids. All right, so another tip that I have is get yourself a few of these big reusable bags. I use these all the time and they are a game changer for me. So I have three of them. I have these two and as you can see they are pretty large. These are the large utility totes from 31. I have two of those and then I have one of these fresh market totes. Um, it's a thermal, it's a large thermal tote again from 31. I mean you, you can find these sort of bags anywhere but these are just the ones that I have. So I used to take these with me, put them in the car and after I was done grocery shopping, I would have all of my individual bags. I would load them up in here so that way I wasn't carrying 50 bags inside with me. I could just grab these three bags and it's just a lot easier um, than taking multiple trips in and out of the car. But recently I decided I wasn't going to bring home all those plastic bags. I had like an abundance of them. So I decided to just take these three bags in with me at the store. 
And what I do is I put all of the things that need to go into the freezer right in here. I put it back onto the conveyor belt when I am paying. They just take it out, scan it, and put everything right back in here. I have one bag for all of the items that need to go into the fridge. Same thing, I just put that right onto the conveyor belt. They scan it and then put them all right back in here. And then all of the items that go into my food cabinet, the pantry area. So that way I have all of my food not only in these three bags, so it's a lot easier to bring into the house, but they're all separated. So I can take one bag and put it right into the pantry. I have one bag that can go right into the fridge and another bag that can go right into the freezer. It literally saves so much time when putting away groceries. That has been a game changer for me. So those are the tips I have for you guys for grocery shopping. I would love to hear your tips down below because let's face it, grocery shopping isn't the most exciting thing ever, but it's something we do need to do. So I would love to hear your tips if you have any, and thank you guys so much for watching.